am I disabled enough to call myself disabled? <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, am I disabled enough? <laughs> Let's talk about the concept of being disabled enough. So, for quite a lot of people with invisible illnesses or any type of difficulty, shall we say, struggle with whether or not they are disabled and whether it's okay to call themselves disabled. For me, I always had this struggle in my mind. I'm not in a wheelchair permanently. I don't use crutches permanently. I'm not an amputee. These things in our heads that are real disabled. Um, I'm not any of those. You know, those things you learn when you're a kid, any time there's an image of a disabled person, it's a person in a wheelchair. These things, I think, kind of get in your head and it makes you think, if I'm not one of these things, I'm not disabled. I don't count. I'm not disabled enough. I'm not limited enough by my condition, etc. to count as disabled. I didn't consider myself disabled until very recently. If you'd asked me six months ago, a year ago, if I was disabled, I would have said no. I would have said I was chronically ill, but not disabled. And I, in my head, that distinction made sense. Disabled is worse, chronically ill is what I am, and then there's obviously able-bodied. So in my head, it was like, oh, there's a spectrum, I'm not all the way disabled, but I'm not able-bodied either, like I was somewhere in the middle. And partly the reason why I didn't consider myself disabled was the whole wheelchair situation, but also, when I applied for a blue badge, which is what allows you to park your car in a disabled parking bay in the UK, I was rejected and I was told chronic fatigue is not a reason to get a blue badge. And in my mind, that meant legally, the government doesn't consider me disabled and therefore I'm not. So my head was like, well, if the government thinks I'm not disabled, I must not be disabled. It's, it's something the government decides, people external to yourself, society decides if you're disabled and then you just have to go with it. I knew that a blue badge would help me, I knew that I could barely, at the time, I knew that I could barely walk and a blue badge would have been really helpful, but they said no and therefore my mind assumed I'm not legally disabled, therefore I'm not disabled. But what does the word disabled actually mean? It means not as able as other people. You are disabled by something. And I am disabled by my chronic illness. And over the last five or six years, I've been at different levels of ability. I got very sick and I was unable to do almost everything at one point. Was I disabled then? Yes. I could barely walk. I could barely leave the house. I couldn't wash my hair on my own. I was disabled but I'm not that bad anymore. So am I disabled now? Well, yes, I am disabled now. Disabled isn't something the government gets to decide. Disabled isn't something the random passerby on the street gets to decide if they look at you and think you look fine. They don't get to decide whether you're disabled or not. You get to decide whether you're disabled. It, it's just a word, if you are, disabled by something, you can call yourself disabled. Not everybody likes the word disabled and that is again completely up to you. If you prefer the term differently abled or just like to, you know, don't want to even use a term in that category, that's okay too. But when I realised I could call myself disabled, like, oh my gosh, I can call myself disabled. I never did for fear of upsetting other people, for fear of offending people who were more disabled or actually disabled than I was. I never wanted to upset anyone, I never wanted to hurt anyone's feelings, I never wanted to equate my own difficulties with someone else's who I perceived to have more difficulties and of course there are people with much worse situations than mine. Just because their situation is harder doesn't mean mine's not also hard. So it's one of those things where just be kind to yourself and if you feel like you want to use the term disabled, you can do it. 
there is a clip in a Jessica Kel Green Fozart video where they discuss and they say the phrase, there's no such thing as legally disabled. And I remember watching that and being like, oh, the, you know, legally, the government doesn't get to decide if you're disabled and a doctor doesn't get to decide. They can decide if you get benefits and they can decide if you get other things to help you, but they're not in charge of whether you use the word disabled. That's not their choice. And so I, I use the word disabled now and I don't use a wheelchair and I don't have any mobility aids at the moment at all. Um, and I'm much more able than I was a couple of years ago. But compared to the average person, I am less able. I have more difficulty carrying out everyday tasks. I went to the supermarket today, which is a 10 minute walk. I went, walked to the supermarket, did shopping, came home, and then I lay down for a couple of hours. That's not a normal reaction. That is me having a lesser ability to do a normal everyday task than the average person. I'm less able to do most things than other people. And yes, I can still do quite a lot of them, when I have enough time, when I have enough energy, when I've made my own adjustments so that I can manage it. But I am less abled and I use the word disabled now. The definition of disabled is a person having a physical or mental condition that limits their movements, senses or activities. Legal disability is completely irrelevant to whether you call yourself disabled. So if you have difficulty physically or mentally with moving, using your senses or carrying out certain activities, you are you can count yourself as disabled. Even if it's just a mental health condition that limits your ability to do things, you can count yourself as disabled if you like to. I think the fear held me back from using the word for a long time and I don't know why because the word doesn't make it more true. It was true on its own. I just never used the word to describe it. I feel almost stronger now I can use the word. I feel that if people question what I'm doing I can say no I'm disabled. I did a video about having an invisible illness and how in the past I've been afraid of people judging me for using disabled toilets and things like that when I needed them. And I feel like now I can tell people I'm disabled. I got a chronic illness, I'm disabled. I need this chair, I need what I'm taking. And that ability to use that word as like giving me a sense of power, like it's legitimate. Like I feel like being able to use the word legitimizes my experience and I do have a disability. And I think for a long time I worried that it wasn't bad enough and it would be disrespectful to disabled people to use the word disability for my condition, but it's bad, it's, it's really bad. It can be and has been very, very bad for me. And I don't know, there's something powerful about the word. There is, and to be able to tell people that I'm disabled instead of having to explain what exactly is wrong with me seems like a dream. <laughs> I don't know why it matters. Don't, I don't know why the word means a lot to me, but it does. It took, me, it took me a long time to feel that I could use it and I can, and now I do. Thank you so much for watching this video. I feel like I kind of just rambled on about the word and all that kind of stuff, but um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a bit of insight into my uh, mindset and how I feel like I um, identify myself as a disabled person. Um, please like it and definitely comment below and let me know whether you use the term disabled for yourself or if you don't and your reasons. Um, if you don't use the word disabled, what words do you use? Um, I'd really be interested to know. Um, please subscribe, we're nearly at 100 subscribers. Thank you so much, bye bye. You can count yourself as dis, dis So, 
Tu vas habiller quoi, Yosav Tu les appelles 